तोर प्यार के ये तोर प्यार के प्रभु दिल में तो भाई रख बू सचे मन में बसाई तोर प्यार के ये तोर प्यार के प्रभु दिल में जो गाई रख बू सचे मन में बसाई रख मन में बसाई Your Eminence, Philippe Neri, Cardinal Ferrand, this is 
the Society of Pilar, along with our mission people, warmly welcomes you for the very first time to Pilar after your elevation as Cardinal. We want to express our joy and thanksgiving to your eminence's person and towards God for the gift you are to us as our Cardinal Archbishop. May I request our Superior General, Father Nazareth Fernandez, to felicitate his eminence. His Eminence, Most Reverend Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrand, dear fathers and brothers, sisters, parents, and my dear friends. At this moment, we are proud and happy to have His Eminence, Most Reverend Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrand, amidst us. A dream that we all have been dreaming for ages, a question that was oft repeated why our Most Reverend Philip Neri is not raised to the dignity of the Prince of the Church? Why the Mother Diocese of the whole of Eastern Catholic Christendom of Latin Rite, which has given birth to several dioceses and archdioceses, has not been given due place in the ecclesiastical hierarchy of the Church in India and the world? Running back into the history from 1510, when Goa was captured by Alphonse de Albuquerque, up to this date, we see how Goa played the central role for centuries in the diffusion of Catholic faith from Africa to the Far Orient. The first Catholic diocese of Goa was erected on 31st January 1533, which was a suffragan to the Archdiocese of Punkal, but with independent jurisdiction for the whole of India. The Diocese of Goa was elevated to the Archdiocese on 4th February 1558. From the erection of the Diocese and Archdiocese to 1886, there were 29 bishops and archbishops who governed this vast Archdiocese. From 1st September 1886, when the Catholic hierarchy was established by the papal bull, Humane Salutis Auctor, on the same occasion, the Patriarchate of East Indies was erected. Most Reverend Don Sebastian Valent was the first Patriarch of East Indies, also called the Archbishop Patriarch. The first Indian and Goan Archbishop Patriarch, Most Reverend now Raul Nicolau Gonzalez, was appointed on 30th January 1978. And Your Eminence is the second Archbishop Patriarch appointed on 12th December 2003. Today, the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman rejoices and exults at your eminence's elevation to the Cardinalate. The immense contribution of the Archdiocese for centuries is now being recognized late though. The long-awaited fulfillment of the desire of the Catholic community of the Archdiocese is now being fulfilled in your eminences elevation. The Society of Pilar specially rejoices because of the deep-rooted bonds that we share right from the foundation of our society in 1887 when the then Archbishop Patriarch Don Sebastian Valent encouraged, facilitated and supported a missionary society in his domain. His sharing of this good news with the then Holy Father Pope Leo XIII on his Queen Quenielu Ad Limina visits to Rome showed his keen interest, joy, and total involvement in the affairs of the newly founded society. Our history of the society also shows how Reverend Father Bento Martins, our founder, became a confidant of the Patriarch Don Sebastian Valent. The Patriarch held him in high esteem and regard. The Patriarch was wholly responsible for promoting this missionary enterprise, even though the inspiration came to Father Bento Martins. That is why the Society of Pilar can be called the eldest daughter of the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman. Your Eminence's predecessor of revered memory, Most Reverend Raul Nicolau Gonzalez, 
gave the constitutions that would propel the society to the status of pontifical right. And now your eminence has been fully responsible to get the final and definitive stamp on the pontifical right status on our society from the Holy See. You have recognized the maturity of the society in promoting it to the present status. These are unforgettable milestones in the life of the society. We always believe that the society is the missionary arm of the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman. The Archdiocese of Goa, unknown for decades to many parts of India except for major towns and cities, was and is made known and present by the Society of Pilar through its grassroots missionary activities and other major and minor institutional presence. Your Eminence's wisdom and erudition, coupled with deep faith in God, your simplicity and humility, your unwavering fidelity to the Church, and your deep communion with God have propelled Your Eminence to this crowning glory in your life and for the Church at large, and particularly for the ancient Archdiocese of Goa and Daman. We congratulate Your Eminence and we pray for your special intention. May this exalted office soon bring you to the international notice of the high ecclesiastics and place you to the front seats of the papabili. This is our prayer. The Society of Pilar will continue to uphold the missionary traditions of the Archdiocese as handed down to us by our founder and reorganizers. We will continue to be proud of our roots that have inflamed us with missionary dynamism of St. Francis Xavier and very Reverend Father Bento Martins. We will continue to be grateful to your eminence for your continued guidance and blessings on the society. While your eminence continues to remain in this holy and exalted office, it is the earnest and deep desire of every member of the society and the desire of the whole Catholic population of India and worldwide that our very dear and venerable Father Agnello de Souza, the second Goan, be raised to the honors of the altar. Such an elevation of Venerable Father Agnello to the status of the Blessed will enrich not only the Church of Goa, but the Church in India as well. This is our prayer. The Society of Pilar prays to God to bless your eminence immensely in all your endeavors for the local and the universal Church at large. With a grateful heart, I thank your eminence in the name of the Society for your presence amidst us today. God bless your eminence. Thank you. Now we wish to honor the Cardinal with a shawl and a token of love. The token is a driftwood lotus plant with three leaves and a bud made from the paddock wood found in the Andaman and the Nicobars. The lotus is a symbol of purity the focus of depending on God alone. Your eminence, you are now firmly planted in the ocean, the universal church. The three leaves of the lotus symbolically will bring to memory the Holy Trinity in whose life we live, move and have our being. The bud represents your eminence's budding forth in the works of the Lord. The paddock tree wood from the Andaman and Nicobar will present the mission entrusted and of course the Society of Pilar the missionary fruit of the Goan Church. Now I request Reverend Father Nazareth Fernandez, the Superior General of the Society, to do the honors of draping the shawl and presenting a token of our love and appreciation to His Eminence.